welcome to another exciting episode on um, medical need today we'll be talking about practicing medicine in nigeria so if you're foreign um medical student studying medicine outside nigeria what are the information that you need to know um as you study and what you need to do on your way going back home so i hope that um every information that you need will be delivered in this video but today what is most, most exciting for me is um, our guest for today is my brother, my friend, Pastor Bades Dr. Eva. <laughs> Can I even call you Bades Doctor? I don't even know. <laughs> Goodest Doctor, I'm sorry, oh, before they come after me. <laughs> <Not serious. laughs> All right, so uh, sir, please can you um, introduce yourself today? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, hello everyone. My name is Dr. Nsikak Ekwe. I'm a, do I say where I school? <laughs> yes, now you can say it now. Alumni of. <laughs> alumni of Harkiv National Medical University, Ukraine. That's where I met this young chap there. <laughs> yeah, no, so proud of like, uh, yeah. Thanks, thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Great. So, um, you're practicing medicine in Nigeria right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I am. For how long? Uh, this is uh six years now. Six years. Wow, amazing. So, um, on top of your your, your practice is like on it's another medical school on top of somebody's what? medical school. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, great. So um, I'm so happy. I'm so excited to have you here today. And um, I'm hoping that we'll be able to answer all of the questions that we have. And that's many people that would um, watch this video. I pray that um, it will be helpful, helpful for them in making the decisions they want to make. Okay, yeah. I want to put you on the spot first. Um, this is what I do to every other guest. And the first question I, I love to ask, just for my own um, pleasure, is that why did you decide to study medicine? Why medicine? Why oh, medicine? Well, mm -hmm. I, had, I had a very weird reason of studying medicine. Um, mm -hmm. My late sister of blessed memories, she was, mm -hmm. um, she wanted to study medicine. So um, when she, on about, about her entering into med school, she had an accident, she died. So me studying medicine was more or less like filling in the blank space, you know. Wow. So that's why I studied medicine. Also, um, one of the things that actually felt my love for medicine was my love for blood. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, wow, so one, guys. <laughs> something took me there, but something else kept me and kept me going, and that was it. So I don't know. I don't have any. I don't have any. I will not tell you I have calling for medicine or I have a special revelation. <laughs> <laughs> that's my weird story, though. That's my weird story. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. I hope maybe you'll be able to make um a hospital in a, in a honor or something. Are you planning about something like that? Um, I, I would not lie to you that I am not thinking of that. Um, for me to mm -hmm. be doing this and you know, such an event um influenced my decision, and uh, it's a decision that I've come to uh, be grateful for. You know, mm -hmm. and I don't regret it. So I'm, I'm not like because some push me that I should regret. No, I don't regret it. So I think mm -hmm. I should um, honor her by um, by doing something mm -hmm. of sort. Yeah, it's in the plans. Yeah, the plans. yeah. I pray that God will empower you to do that. All right. So let's start majorly with um, the the questioning. Okay, now you studied in um, Eastern Europe, Ukraine, um, yeah. Harkov Medical University. Um, yeah, I think it's a fantastic. I think it's a fantastic school. <laughs> No, it is. No, no, no. Really, 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 really. really? To be yeah. honest, okay. Why, why would why would you say that? No, because um, for those for those for those of us that studied in Ukraine, and uh, you come to Nigeria, you'll be grateful for Harkov National Medical University because about it. um um to the greater best of our to the greater best of our knowledge. Um, studying outside mm -hmm. the country makes you liberal, as in they are not as strict as studying in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Nigeria, you know the medical school now, as in mm -hmm. if you don't pass, you receipt or you leave the school. But, You're out. but studying mm -hmm. outside, yes, they give you that benefit of doubt that you can actually come back, rework mm -hmm. your courses and all that. When you have a school like mm -hmm. Harakov National American University putting you to, as in making sure that those mm -hmm. courses you work out, 
you know, mm -hmm. somebody is telling you that you don't attend my anatomy class, you can't write my. They are not as liberal as other medical schools. My dear, to a greater mm -hmm. part of um, my life, I'm grateful that out of all the schools in Ukraine, I went to Hardcore mm -hmm. National Medical University. I'm not yet condemning other schools, but um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we all yeah. know we all know KNMU and drama do, but I think um, some way and somehow we have to be kept out. Pain out. So, pain out in a way, though. In mm -hmm. a way, it's pain out. yeah. All right, great. So I want to start up. Um, most people, maybe when they want to make a decision, although I quite have my um, reservations about that, but uh, yeah. it's not about me. Uh, yeah. Most people feel like um, Nigeria is like a no-no. Like when I finish, I don't want to go back home. Um, to be very honest, um, all of the episodes I've put up, um, like, okay, I'm doing an interview on Canada. Do you have questions? Poop, 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 questions. I'm doing, <laughs> but I'm doing an episode about Nigeria. <laughs> like, so really, is Nigeria that like, a, like I really want you to be honest um, because um, the reason reasons why I'm doing this is that um, personally for myself and most people I find out that um, there was not a lot of information. Ukraine is a, a bit shielded. Um, I think yeah. Ukraine is like a bubble on its own. So yeah. many times, uh, uh, many people just, and the country is very comfortable. And I, I want to believe that also maybe um, for people, maybe people who study in US and Canada, they may not have that problem because of course, um, maybe it's a more smoother system, but I want to believe that other yeah. parts like Eastern Europe and all those other stuff, um, yeah. it's like an enclosed bubble and you can't really move, move fast, fast, and you can't, you know what, I, and maybe you yeah. understand. So yeah, yeah, yeah. is going yeah. back home such a bad idea? Do you think so? Because I want to differ, but coming back to Nigeria, honestly, um, is it really like a no-no, or do you think it's okay? <laughs> um, am I clear enough? Am I clear enough? Yeah, you're clear enough. You're clear, absolutely okay. clear enough. Uh, uh, I, 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 want to, I want to be very careful with the words I say, even if I want to be as truthful mm -hmm. as possible. And yeah. um, let me use from a personal point of view. Mm -hmm. um, if I know what I know now, mm -hmm. I don't think I would have come back to Nigeria. So I'm not surprised that people mm -hmm. are not asking questions about Nigeria. Now, this is why. Um, the whole system is not um, in favor of us young doctors. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not in favor of us young doctors in the sense that um, um, your seniors and your um, um, mentors in courts that are meant to brighten things up for you are the ones actually your enemies of progress. Mm -hmm. um, Looking at what the Minister of Health said the other day, you know, the, first, the, first, <laughs> the first one said that doctors should go and be farmers. The second farmers. one said, mm -hmm. yes, the second one said, the same person that said farmer said that his tailor is actually a doctor, you can imagine. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. the second one said he wants to stop being house officers. You see, in such a system that doesn't encourage young minds, mm -hmm. um, it's not the right place to start off from. John, I, I use the okay. word start off from um mm -hmm. i personally came back to nigeria because of little or no information like you said ukraine is a closed bubble so um, 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 yeah, the information that comes in there is quite limited to your circle and in our time mm -hmm. in our time we had i had i personally had less of people who would advise me better on um career mm -hmm. plan all we wanted to do in fact almost everybody in our time were, was like we're like let me go back to nigeria back the nigeria mm -hmm. certificate and then but whereas it's it's way more than that you don't consider the number mm -hmm. of years you are trying to get certified to work in nigeria you don't you don't yeah. quantify the number of um, months you spend doing youth service a time whereby mm -hmm. you would have actually done something much more profitable with your life that would have been appreciated you know, mm -hmm. you said that they are treating you like trash in a country mm -hmm. as Nigeria. So, um, Nigeria is not um, a right place to start from as a young doctor, as a young doctor. All right. um, yeah, I think I should. Um, are, are you? Are you? Can you hear me? 
Yeah, I'm with, I'm with you. I can hear you clearly. Yeah. I hope I'm asking you a question. I hope I'm being explicit enough. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I understand what where you're coming from. Okay. Yeah. Um, like you you said, um, if you would give your um honest um advice, Nigeria is not a it's not so fantastic to start off yeah. as a, a doctor. Okay. So um, what about let's put it this way. Um, I've heard about this, but uh, um, for now I can afford to maybe stay back in the country where I studied. Um, medicine yeah. as a foreign student and um, for some people I know um, even if they don't want to work in Nigeria um, the only route to whatever place they want to go maybe if I want to go to the UK for example and, um, one of the requirements would be that I have to do my internship which yeah. maybe um, I, I don't have that privilege or that ability to do it in um, the country yeah. where I studied so yeah. um, let's say for me right now um, that my only route is through the Nigerian system. Um, how can you get me prepared? What are the information that I need to know? Okay, um, now that's the caveat to your decision on coming back to Nigeria, right? Um, I advise mm -hmm. even my young um, friends coming back. I'm like, mm -hmm. if you are caught in between the devil and the deep blue sea, the devil being staying in, uh, staying in ukraine or any country of your choice and then the deep blue sea means coming back to nigeria and then your decision is bent on finances i will advise come back to nigeria okay. reason mm -hmm. is this um at least when you come back and um, you cut your people your financiers they you cut them some financial slack by limiting mm -hmm. the expenses as you gradually build on your future plans so if that's the case then i'd come back to nigeria the first step first step first step when you come back to nigeria is you have to get certified by the medical dental council of nigeria mdcn mm -hmm. in our time in our time when you come back um they group you in batches and each mm -hmm. batch goes to a particular um, teaching hospital in a zone. I think there were like six zones. We had um, Zaria, zones, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, we had Enugu, we had Lagos, we had Ife. Um, I think I'm missing was two or Ed, one. Was there, Ed, was there Edo then? Edo was there, but I think Edo lost its accreditation after a while. And then some, mm -hmm. some, some, somewhere else. So, mm -hmm. um, so each batch, we had like, I think two batches, April and, uh, April and October. So, mm -hmm. yes. So you now choose the batch where you want to go and each batch will now be slotted to a particular zone. Let's say mm -hmm. April batch was in Ife, the next batch will be in Zaria. So the yeah. batch will now go there and spend about three or three to four months. You know, you mm -hmm. stay there in that city, you study with your student, you have your tutorials with your final year student. And then at the end of your four months, you write your MDCN exams and mm -hmm. you are certified. As a, mm -hmm. as a doctor to practice in Nigeria. But I think two years ago, um, that system was reviewed. And then mm -hmm. instead of all students to go to a particular place to study in groups, mm -hmm. they now um, uh, made it to be like you study online, not on site. So, mm -hmm. um, so now uh, you have a telegram group whereby you just decide to go there some tutors are there to tutor you on some past questions. And then mm -hmm. these past questions are based on where the exam will take place. Take, for instance, the exam is taking place in Abuja. You will get past questions from the, from the um, final year students of Uni Abuja, you know, to use mm -hmm. to groom the ones that are coming out from, that are coming into the country. So that's what is currently mm -hmm. going on now. And um, they study online. Mm -hmm. And some other individuals also are organizing tutorial centers in different states, mm -hmm. I can't, I don't really know where, but I can source it for mm -hmm. you. And you get those um, tutorial centers from their NMA Telegram group, NMA mm -hmm. Telegram group. So different yeah. tutorial centers uh, will tutor you pending where exam would be. And the exam is just, um, you come into the hall, you write exam and pass. So there's no luxury of spending four months in the place, which was actually a very good um, strategy because 
Yeah. Take for instance, I, I I did my four months in IFE. I was blended in their system. I knew in and out. Yeah. So the questions they will bring for me are questions that I'm used to because these are the questions that their final year students took us in. The lecturers mm -hmm. that lecture us, these are the lecturers that lecture their students. So it's the same question. They are the same exam pattern, you know, that we mm -hmm. used, and it really helped. This other pattern is actually, um, really, it's um, I pray the it's ETS. stressful. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, uh -huh. yes, and it's very uncertain. You know, it's very uncertain. And probably so expensive that is what they're using now. Yes, I believe it is. I believe it is. Yeah, because of the tutorial, oh, I'm I hoping that maybe, I, maybe I'll be able to get one of those um people who organize tutorials to talk about. Uh, yeah, I had a friend. I, I I gave him his. He was he was staying in Port Harcourt, so I gave him a group in um. Mm -hmm. In a port hack up, so they were meeting in a place to have some tutorial and stuff. So the guy passed, you know. So it's mm -hmm. it's 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 uh it's 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 not as um straightforward as our own time, but that's the system that it is now. So basically, you pass your MDCN, and then uh the next thing now is for you to look for a house, a place where you do your internship. Now how that is another how easy is that because um I've uh, heard a lot of stories uh, about that uh, how difficult it's, you need um, to pray. <laughs> it's a different ball game, as in mm -hmm. as in it's like it's like you looking for admission. That mm -hmm. is how that is how that is how annoying it is. You know, this is a doctor going from hospital to hospital to, to look for a place to do your internship. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. You know. Wow. So I think me, I went to, I was first looking for in Abuja, I went to all the government hospitals, I went to National Hospital, HMB mm -hmm. board in Abuja, nothing, I didn't see anything, nobody called me. <laughs> so I went to my state and applied in the teaching hospital. In fact, the best bet now is to just go to your state, you know, yeah. because mm -hmm. the way the country is, we are too tribalistic. So uh, your best chances are in your state whereby they give you preference than um, a foreigner. But if you want to come mm -hmm. to a place that is central, national hospital, they have slots. So if you have somebody that can give you a slot in national hospital. <laughs> connect, connect or yeah. connection uh, depends. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the next thing, secure a place for internship. I was, I, I overheard something that um, um, the, um, the medical council body of Nigeria, MDCN, were the ones to now um, post um, um medical doctors to for internship like they will be the ones to tell you where to go mm -hmm. so you don't start i think I, but i think that's the system they practice in ghana maybe that's the system they practice in ghana yes mm -hmm. that's what they wanted to practice in nigeria as of last year my friend was the one hustling for a house i don't know if they have started implementing it i doubt i doubt but yeah. that was the last the last time we the last time i personally heard the minister of health speak Sorry, the, the chairman MDC and speak. That was what they, they, they wanted to do. So just like posting someone mm -hmm. for youth service, they post you to go and do house job mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. But I thought they have implemented the chart. So to your 10 tourist job, go and look for your house job, please. <laughs> so, so there's nothing there's nothing I can do to get my house job by merit or whatever. It's just to hustle, right? It's to hustle. It's to hustle and connect. Ah, it's to connect. hustle and connect. Because so is anything state, I can do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even my state, when I went to do the teaching hospital, I'm from a Kwaibon state, so I went to a teaching hospital and I didn't still get it. Meanwhile, I'm not, I'm, this mm -hmm. is not me being tribalistic. Meanwhile, we had a lot of evil people in the teaching hospital, which are accepted. So mm -hmm. it's just about connection and um, even mm -hmm. tribe self doesn't even work these days. So by marriage, unfortunately, in Nigeria, no. Also, oh, it's like you left the system and then you're coming back again. Same so thing. It's same drill. Okay. okay. And I'll tell you something that they told me in my MDCN time. They said, you left us, you left us to go and study outside and spend our money outside. So let us chop your money while you're here. That is what I an see. office... I'm not supposed to be saying this, Shabo. That, that is the ideology that they have. You know, they just no, but I think it's the... I, I think it's the general Nigerian... Um, yeah. Yeah. As an as an Nigerian, I'm offended, but I'm not offended. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's worth it to be offended because um at least you're not in the system. If you're in the system, trust me, it's a daily offense mm -hmm. with uh, mm -hmm. so um now, I want I, I will I would love to know is there any um would 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 
is there any difficulty you face by studying um, outside? Um, maybe sometimes, to be honest, maybe some people who studied in foreign universities, maybe, will you say they are not as trained as the Nigerian doctors? Um, how do I answer to be this? Very, to be very fair, not using yourself or as a yardstick, okay? Like in general, what do you think? Um, because it's okay. one thing for it's one thing for us to maybe say the true jokes like maybe Ukraine doctor or your Romanian doctor, but is there is there anything that foreign doctors have really done wrong um, in terms well, of studying in place of the Nigerian system? Well, the truth is, um, not to shade anybody or to shade any any school or system. Um, unfortunately, our guys who study out, um, they don't give a good impression when they come back home. Um, reason is because, like I explained earlier, the Nigerian medical system makes sure that you are properly and seasoned as a medical student. As in, you don't pass mm -hmm. a level until you're deserving of it. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, so mm -hmm. they make sure that a medical student can stay for 10 years in school. Mm -hmm because of probably maybe school issues and also probably because of um, you are failing your exams and you have to pass and all these kind of things. So mm -hmm. bringing a Nigerian trained medical doctor and bringing mm -hmm. a foreign trained medical doctor who, because of our own kind of system in, in you know, as foreign trained, we are not um, pressured to learn. Mm -hmm. There is no okay. pressure. You are only self-motivated to learn. You know, it's a different, there's mm -hmm. a different thing. Which, mm -hmm. in retrospect, is actually a good thing. Being mm -hmm. self-motivated to learn is actually a good thing than being forced to learn. But mm -hmm. because of that liberty, you, are, you, are you, doubt me, what, I saw your face, you don't think I'm right? No, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm yeah. listening. <laughs> Learning out of your self-motivation actually makes you mm -hmm. more of a better student. You want to know, and mm -hmm. then you decide to know, and then you make efforts mm -hmm. to know. Not like the mm -hmm. other one that will tell you to, you must drink this water, you must drink this water. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't believe it's the right way to uh -huh. teach, but that's not where I'm going yeah. to. So someone who was um, um, taught liberally, and someone who was mm -hmm. taught with strict measures, the person who was taught liberally um, may not really have taken study serious. Which is a which, which is what we which is what happens to most of our foreign trained doctors. They don't take mm -hmm. stories studies serious because if you want to ask me, see, Ukraine has good materials. I was looking at our sure. I can remember our anatomy book in mm -hmm. in, um, in um, KHNM. KHNM, you those those small 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 books. Yes, that book is rich. Mm -hmm. I can still remember. I can still remember. Um, uh, um, my microbiology textbook that, that talked about um, ATP and Krebs cycle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that very small yellow one. Mm -hmm. Things are rich. What are I going let me, let me even go to something that's more practical. My ONG textbook. My ONG textbook. Mm -hmm. When I came to Nigeria, when I came to Nigeria, there was one book that they gave ONG me. ONG, though. What? Oh, you're in second, yeah, in second part of, okay, you're in second part of, you were in second part of, right? Yes, I was in second part talk, yes. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. all right. So, mm -hmm. so, so, so those, we have good materials there. We have wonderful, mm -hmm. we have wonderful teachers. I can remember my anatomy mm -hmm. teacher, Mrs. Olga. You know that woman, right? I know Olga. Madam Anna too was very good. She's my teacher. <laughs> yeah. So we have seasoned teachers. But the thing is this, they can't force us. So you see, yeah. a lot of us really took those things for granted. And scale mm -hmm. through the six years, knowing that knowing that when you fail a test, you can actually repeat the test. If you don't come write to pass, it again, you can repeat. You can rework it. Mm -hmm. the that the real test of your six years in stu of study as a foreign trained is when you come back mm -hmm. to Nigeria, is when you're faced with real issues. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I hardly, um, sorry, I'm saying this, but I had to be, I hardly, I hardly associated myself with with them because. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't want to be tagged as um, um, this is your brother. He doesn't even know anything. No, 
No, we all mm-hmm. went there, but we all went there with different motives. So yes, there is that great difference between a Nigerian trained mm-hmm. doctor and a foreign trained doctor. Now let's look at the, the foreign trained doctors who really took things seriously. Yes, there will still mm-hmm. be that slight difference. Now this is the difference. Mm-hmm. The difference is this, as foreign trained doctors, um, we are not really hands on mm-hmm. because of a lot of factors, a lot of mm-hmm. um, racism, um, a lot of factors, you know. And um, but that's different with the Nigerian trained doctors, they are hands on. Mm-hmm. So, practically speaking, when you come back to practical. Nigeria, yes, your practical would be really tested. You may not know mm-hmm. how to set the line, you may not know how to mm-hmm. take a blood sample. That's what I'm that's what I mean, you know. Mm-hmm. 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 To you, uh, 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 yes. Um, so the Nigerian trained doctors have a hedge of arrows over there, but but th- theoretically, theoretically speaking, I think that we mm-hmm. do better. Yes. So that's great. Think- so they're trying to they're trying to say that if I um from studying, for example, because we're using Ukraine as a basis um yeah. for our explanation. And I read all my textbooks and really, really put my heart to it. Um, I stand a very great chance of being very uh, there is competitive in the yeah. ask that you will not know. I can assure you. I can okay. assure you. Um, the only um, thing that might ask... differ, the only thing, sorry, the only thing that might differ is um the mode of um approach. You would approach, know you which would I know think completely. yeah, which I think differ, yeah, differs from so countries to country. Exactly, exactly. But mm-hmm. you will know the pathophysiology of a heart. You will know. Mm-hmm. You will know the. You will know the 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 phases of labor is the same thing. Mm-hmm. 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 And maybe someone you will know some more unnecessary <laughs> Russian science and all those things that you know, not necessary. Basically, the same. The babies are the same everywhere. Okay, so um, let's answer this. Um, what were the things you wish you knew? Um, when you were studying out that if you had paid more attention would have made you more suited for the Nigerian system. Okay, what are the things that, come again? What are the things that you wished probably you did more in medical school or you opened yourself more up to in medical school that could have helped you um, in your practice now in Nigeria? Maybe if you're going to take back the hands of time and you see yourself yeah. now practicing Nigeria at this time, yeah, well, what yeah. things we have done? I think, I think history taking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, they made a, we, okay, why? Because really, I'm interested in that. Why? Yeah, because um, the way, the, the approach we have as to take history in Ukraine is quite different. Mm-hmm. you know, than in Nigeria. And um, <laughs> there wasn't that strict approach to teaching how to take a history in Ukraine. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but now I understand why. You see, Ukraine um, or any foreign trained, um, any foreign, any, any medical school, um most diagnoses would be confirmed by um investigations laboratory investigations and top notch mm-hmm. images and stuff so mm-hmm. the approach to history taking may not be as concise as mm-hmm. however in nigeria your hands are crude man mm-hmm. you have you should develop a crude approach to everything so so you should even dot the i's and cross the t's if, if somebody yeah. has the maturia, if somebody has blood in urine, you must you must even find out if the person has gone swimming. <laughs> yeah. You understand? You, that, that is how good his taking is. I, and I was asking, mm-hmm. how, does swimming, how does swimming have anything to do with hematuria? Connected to hematuria. Oh, mm-hmm. She's the so many is from, from, from River. Mm-hmm. So you see that's so you see that's how crude history taking is mm-hmm. so i think if i had taken history taking more seriously mm-hmm. um maybe i i think i would have been better on it on arrival all right um okay i'm just thinking in my mind let's say um maybe my final year or maybe my fifth year very close and i know i'm coming to nigeria what are the amazing things about the nigerian system that i can look forward to? 
<laughs> Sorry, if you're, your feet, you're, you're, if you are done with school, what year. Else? Yes, and I'm coming to Nigeria. Give me something good to look forward <laughs> to. There has to be something good. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I, I, I want to understand your question. As in, are you done with school? Yes, I'm done with I school. I know my way. That's my destination. What are the amazing things yeah. that I can look forward to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look out for a system whereby you don't pay too much tax. <laughs> 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 wow. Anyway, anyway, let's get serious. Well, that's, um, that's brutal. Exactly. That's how it is. But um, one good thing about Nigeria is this. Um, <laughs> but truth, truly, truly speaking, is there anything good about this? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. You have to give us, give, 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 give us some. See how hard give, it is for me to think something. of something. Else. Anyway. Um, one good thing about me practicing in Nigeria is I've gained mm -hmm. some crude experience which cannot be traded for anything. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one, that's, mm -hmm. one piece of, that's one piece of practicing in Nigeria. Yeah. I've mm -hmm. had my colleagues, I've had my friends who are now in the UK and mm -hmm. um, trust me, the experience in Nigeria is really, is really, really important. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Because there are some things that you may not have ever thought as a young doctor were possible until you come mm -hmm. to Nigeria. There are some cases you'll never ever see mm -hmm. in first world, second world countries. But here in Nigeria, we see them on the daily. You know, mm -hmm. so it increases your, your spectrum of management as a person, as a person, mm -hmm. not even a doctor, so that whatever you find yourself, it can actually be very useful. You know, okay. so that's one beauty of um of um working in Nigeria. You would um, be exposed to some crude um, um sicknesses, some mm -hmm. some third world sicknesses, illnesses that mm -hmm. I believe the experience is worth it, and um, that's something I've come to be grateful for. No financial gains or opportunity. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's, there's there's no financial gain. You know, there's. I, I can't lie to you. There's no financial gain because ah, no financial gain. Okay. Is there any slim chances that someone can enjoy practicing medicine in Nigeria? From the of course, yes. Yeah, you are called to practice. Like coming, 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 staying, and not going anywhere. Do you think? Of course, of course, yes. People have different destinies and different calling. If your calling is Nigeria, you enjoy Nigeria. However, why, 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 do I, why do I feel why do I feel that answer has a little too chill so well? Like, no, 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 forget about what I've said. Forget about what I've said, right? Forget about what I've said. Um, see, these things are, are they personal. Doctors, are they doctors? Are they doctors living the life in Nigeria? And I don't mean um, I don't mean privileged people because if your father has money and uh, you know, not, not even money, money, money. I know a hand you can enjoy going to the hospital, whether they pay you 30,000 naira for internship or 40,000 naira, it doesn't even concern you. In fact, they cannot pay you. But well, is it any possible? Is it any possibility like my parents have spent? Because we know that everybody that's foreign trained is not really um, rich, rich. Some people are here on um, scholarship, some their parents have given their all to yeah. push, push their dreams forward. I, I have someone that's say, saying that my parents don't want me to come back um they've done everything um that's possible for me so if the person is watching this and there is no way to go forward um you know packing my bags now going back home do you understand and this is all like that i have home this way i'm from um is there any hope to be able to as a regular person strive through the system and make it um and i mean yeah, i mean yeah. i mean i mean very objectively now of course as children of god wherever we are god can bless us and increase okay. us yes that's okay i'm, I'm, I'm mean, glad very, i'm glad i'm very yeah. objective yeah, i'm glad you removed that out of the way because that would have really mm -hmm. obstructed my answer objectively mm -hmm. um let me just give you an estimate of what the regular doctor in your level will end and then you and i'm the one to decide <laughs> fair enough <laughs> now as a medical of, as like I said, you finish your medical, you finish your MDC and you get licensed as a doctor, and then um, and then from there you now get into your internship. As interns, I think the most you can get as an intern is one eighty thousand every month, mm -hmm. which is now being reduced. If I'm yes, if I'm, I said the most, as in you are very lucky. 
No, it's as low as some people even pay one thirty thousand. One thirty. If we if dollars is fifty thousand naira, so we're talking about. Dollar, dollar. No carry me go dollar. That one no con. If they are, if they yeah. if they come to Nigeria, we don't know dollar. <laughs> about I'm just saying because some people will be watching from other parts of the world. So okay, two hundred okay, about okay, two hundred. Okay. Let's say a rough estimate of about two hundred and thirty fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah. A dollar, a dollar mm -hmm. now is four eighty five. Yeah, yeah. About that, about mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So I'm putting at fifty thousand. So let's just say about. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Let's just say tops three hundred dollars if you're very lucky, like you said, right? Tops three hundred, fine. Tops three hundred is fine. Then as a as a medical, that's as a, as an intern. After internship, mm -hmm. the next the next phase is um NYSC, your national your one year national service score. Um, mm -hmm. That one NYC pays you twenty thousand. Now, all right. NYC pays you twenty thousand. Every copper takes takes in twenty thousand from NYC. That's ninety thousand six hundred. That's twenty thousand compulsory mm -hmm. every month. Ninety thousand six hundred, mm -hmm. but just call it twenty thousand. So mm -hmm. now, the extra money as a doctor depends on where you're working. Mm -hmm. Some places pay um, national service court doctor. 80,000. Where I did my youth service, they were paying me 80,000. Mm -hmm. So plus my 20,000 means 100,000. The most mm -hmm. amount of money you can earn as a doctor, as a mm -hmm. national youth service called doctor is 150,000. That 150,000 is probably an NGO takes you in or something to come and do service mm -hmm. in the organization and stuff like that. You know, but 150,000 is the most you can mm -hmm. earn as a doctor. Probably in your youth service year, probably in your youth service mm -hmm. year, you can actually do two jobs, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can do, so mm -hmm. I had friends who do two jobs. So you earn 150,000, you earn 150,000, on the other side, you earn maybe 50, 60,000. So mm -hmm. that, that's like, yeah. So that is so it. Fair and, enough. Mm -hmm. Yes, fair enough. So after that, after that, um, after that, um, it's so after your youth service, you're now a medical officer. Now, as a medical, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. yes, as a medical officer, if you're down south in um, the south south, the most you can collect as a medical officer is hundred thousand. I don't know of any hospital in south south. <laughs> the, most, the most, the most. Yes. You mean like the peak? Yes, yes, right. yes. Some people will pay fifty thousand. I had a friend that was collecting fifty, sixty thousand as a medical officer. Yes, like a hundred dollars as a medical doctor. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I had a friend of collecting 60,000. So he was doing two jobs, 60, 60, mm -hmm. 20,000. Mm -hmm. And um, um, can I reply this message? Yeah, sure, you can. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so, um, um, so he was collecting 60,000. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, guys, no, I'm on duty. So I'm just trying to sort out things in the world. Dr. Duties, guys. Dr. Duties. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, um, yeah. And so let me just thousand. keep in this in. Mind yes. you, this sixty thousand is with full duty, full dedication. Exactly. Service. Exactly. All right. Exactly. So um, that's down south. Um, if you're coming towards the north as a medical officer, um, yes, you could now appreciate to probably one fifty to two hundred thousand. Naira, mm -hmm. Naira mm -hmm. per month, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, Abuja is quite okay. I think Abuja and Lagos, they are the ones that actually have sense, you know. Mm -hmm. At least you have, you have a lot of hospitals paying above 200, but the maximum mm -hmm. amount of cash you can receive as a medical officer is 250,000. I don't think okay. there's any hospital that are paying medical officers more than 250,000 as a host, mm -hmm. as a, as a, um, base salary um, yes 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 um sorry as a medical officer mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh yes so um sorry guys so uh what was i even saying sir 
we're talking about um in Lagos. Yes, in Abuja, yes. So you can actually have, yes, can actually have uh, being paid up to two hundred and fifty thousand at most. If luck shines on you, if luck shines mm -hmm. on you, you can actually find a job in an NGO. Mm -hmm. Now that's a different bread. How and time. How, how 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 can someone get well, a job? In, in um, most yes. NGOs prefer guys with masters in public health or masters in anything that are health related. So if you have a masters mm -hmm. in public so just keep applying in different NGOs online. Um, so, you would, uh, so you advise that because um, mostly in Ukraine, uh, I know here after they allow the most medical school the ability to do masters in public health and hospital management. Is that mm -hmm. advisable to do before you before Please, you? Because most, you most, most people are like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you could do your master, it's an added advantage for you if you come back to Nigeria. Why? Is because while you're in youth service, you you'll be exposed to some of these guys, some of these NGOs while mm -hmm. you're in your youth service. So mm -hmm. once you're done with your internship, you have your mm -hmm. you have your you have your masters already at hand. You start applying mm -hmm. to different NGOs to become an intern while doing your youth mm -hmm. service with them. You can go mm -hmm. online. Anyone that you can actually meet on. I love the NGOs on in Abuja that you can go to the offices and. Um, there is one, um, what's that one's name? Um, I can't remember, something about malaria, but you find them, you find them. You can actually mm -hmm. go to the office and submit your CV, submit every document that states that you have got a social so qualification mm -hmm. and they would like to do mm -hmm. your youth service there with them, mm -hmm. you know? And then from there, you walk mm -hmm. your way up. You know, those mm -hmm. people that have gone through youth service into NGOs are now at least, mm -hmm. the least starting um, amount, the least starting salary you can start with in an NGO is about 300 to 400,000. Do you mm -hmm. understand? Wow. Yes, three hundred. Almost to twice or five times, maybe the uh, the the price that the other doctors are having, right? Of course, of course, yes, of course, yes. You work for that money, though. <laughs> you work for that money. Mm -hmm. it, so, but know, how easy, how easy it is, will it be for me to do my masters after getting involved in the system in Nigeria? What's the freedom? The, uh, <laughs> See, if you want to do your master's in Nigeria, mm -hmm. right? Or if I get engaged in the Nigerian system, how easy is it for me to, after getting into that system, is it really easy to do my master's after then? Not really, because if I, like you've listened to the different steps or the different stages of your, mm -hmm. of your involvement in the system, um, mm -hmm. I can't, I can't think of any good space that would give you that privilege of doing a master's, except it's an online master's. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so they have mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are doing online master's. They are using this Unicaf from Unicaf from opportunity. Unicaf, yeah, opportunity, yeah, to do masters, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I have a lot of colleagues that are doing online, but if it's on site masters, no, my guy, no. Except you just want to leave medicine for a while and then just go into the masters, then that's possible. I have some people who just. After their youth service, they just shut down, went to do their masters, and then probably mm -hmm. they'll pick up, probably they'll pick up from there, there and out. But online mm -hmm. masters, why not? You can, you can. Oh, all right, great. So okay. If you want to go into residency, uh, if you want to go into residency after your youth service, um, as a junior registrar, I think the most you can earn is two eighty thousand. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to start residency in Nigeria, so that's basically mm -hmm. how the pay go. You know, so if you think that. At the peak of it all, you'll be earning your 280000 as a starter. Junior registrar is fine by you. Why not? But when you start having a family like mine, you find out that that money is... Mm -hmm. At the end of the you day, know. it's not... You barely you have any... You understand. At the end of the day, you know. <laughs> you know, what you supposed to what, understand dollars. Exactly. You can't mm -hmm. handle any big projects because your savings mm -hmm. are not that um, are not that nice. Those that really enjoy mm -hmm. medicine in Nigeria are those who have pay their dues. In other words, the consultant. You understand? How long? How long will it take for me to pay my dues? My best yeah. advice, if money is not the problem, go finish your specialty in another country and then come back and enjoy yourself in Nigeria. Oh, okay. That's set aside because we have a video about spe doing your specialty in other places. Okay. What's the advantage of me coming back to Nigeria as a specialist? As a specialist? Well, it's um, it's a big box. What I'm mm -hmm. saying is because now, because of how the system is, as a specialist, you can do anything and enjoy yourself. In other words, you can work 
for the teaching hospital. Teaching hospital can employ you. Okay, let me use for instance. I had a guy who was an orthopedic surgeon. Mm-hmm. Now he was employed by teaching hospital. His salary take home in teaching hospital was eight hundred thousand every month. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, now the state government also employed him, and mm-hmm. the state government were paying him one million naira every month. Wow, that's one point eight. Now, yes, and in the state government hospital, he comes his clinic days is once in a week. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. But the yes. Surgeon, yeah. mm-hmm. So now, then he, um, another he was not working for um, another another something something something. So his salary was now five hundred k with housing allowance. I don't know how much the housing allowance mm-hmm. was. So you can imagine eight hundred mm-hmm. plus one million plus five hundred with housing allowance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what that is? Wow. Now, if I want to use where I work, okay, consultants mm-hmm. uh, here they end. Um, the list of them ends um, nine hundred thousand in a private hospital. Mm-hmm. 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 Have a housing allowance of up to one point five million naira. Mm-hmm. You know, and yeah, then know. some are privileged to paid vacations. Mm-hmm. This is where you want to go and ask me to take care of it. Those are the mm-hmm. advantages of um doing coming back at the see as a specialist in Nigeria. The sky is your limit. Or the sky oh, is your starting great. point because there are a lot of things you can do. You can do your private stuff. You can work for the government. You can work for teaching hospitals. You can work for private bodies. You know, mm-hmm. you can even work for four, five. Not, you can, you can, you can have clinic days for four, five um, um, private hospitals per mm-hmm. patient, like mm-hmm. an hospital now. Um, um, don't worry about that. Okay, so all right, yeah, of course we can't we, yeah. we can't discuss. Yeah. That. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a very lucrative um, adventure as a consultant when you come back to Nigeria. Yeah, there are a lot of, there are a lot of things oh. to do. And I think you really All enjoy right. medicine in Nigeria more as a consultant than as a, as a junkie. Okay. Give me the harsh reality. Nigeria has a transit, okay? Um, yeah. Many people, because um, I, I want this to be very, really helpful to people, not just giving to it. Let's say I'm having this mindset. I'm coming to Nigeria and I'm getting into the system and I'm getting out as fast as possible. What's yeah. the reality of that? Like, what's the reality of that? What do you think? Uh, already the system doesn't give you that um, privilege of transiting as quick as, as you think you will. That's the same thing I thought, but this is six years going, you know? Mm-hmm. So what, what's that reality of like... You know, there's always ginger at the beginning of every journey. I'll just go, I'll do my, I'll just, I'll spoil pass my end this year. Let me spoil the reality for you. It's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> but people are living. People are living now. I, I, I know people who have been able to maybe, but really just a handful, to be honest. And, okay. Uh, now, so you have to check people the are, They are financially, 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 that financially. Is, financial. that, is <laughs> that is the major point. That is the major point. Some of us that have hey. to make it, it's uh, yeah, because you have to look at what you are receiving. If you have to build your family and then exactly. with the stress of the exactly. whole work the economy, exactly. now about thinking exactly. about uh, preparing for exams now in that condition, exactly. paying for your exams exactly. and all those other stuff, and then um, traveling cost and all those other things, exactly. but it's doable. Right. No, it's very, it's very doable. Actually, it's very doable, and uh, some of us are planning to. We're planning on that angle. <laughs> on that angle. All right. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. I don't. I don't know if there's anything I've not covered, um, right. with that. So, um, what's your advice for a student studying outside, um, foreign trade student right now? What, what are the key points you're gonna give? Like, make sure this, 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 this. Well. Whether you want to come back to Nigeria or not, just make sure that you take your studies as important as possible because Mm -hmm. um, wherever you decide to go, whatever you do now, actually reflect there to apply yourself, Mm -hmm. learn anything you need to learn. Let YouTube be your friend, study things. Um, Let your books be your friend. Get all the necessary theoretical knowledge you understand and then uh, wherever you're going to like what this video is trying to do make sure that you are well versed in the challenges mm-hmm. ahead don't don't mm-hmm. don't say you didn't know like those are those, those are things mm-hmm. that i said oh i didn't know no at this 21st mm-hmm. century and at this dispensation i didn't know is not an excuse to regret mm-hmm. tomorrow so mm-hmm. 
learning today in your school also wherever you're going make researches call people ask questions and mm -hmm. if you if, if you're still bent on coming to nigeria i can assure you you will not be broke mm -hmm. you will not be broke you will just be comfortable and um you just have to be strong yeah that's mm -hmm. what i can say mm -hmm. all right so when should i start making these decisions or looking for this information on what to do First day medical school, third year. When should I start looking? Well, I don't think you should bother yourself with um, relocation information in your first or third year. I think from your fourth year, fifth year. Mm -hmm. Why I'm using fourth year, fifth year is so that even if you need to, even if you don't decide to come to Nigeria, you want to write some certificate examinations for another country. Mm -hmm. It gives you more time. Like I know some of my guys that went to Germany, they started studying um, German language in Ukraine in their fifth year, which gave mm -hmm. them. Um, quick pass to go and do residency in Germany. So from your fourth year, it's fine. Ask those questions from your fourth year, make inquiries, call home, find out the current mm -hmm. city, like see how I came home, what I met on ground is different from what is happening now. Happening so now. Mm -hmm. you, must, you, must, you must brace up yourself with the current happening and then so that you don't be caught mm -hmm. unawares. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, so just I'm just curious. I could ask you off camera, but I just want to on the spot. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you see yourself like? Do you see yourself on this career of medicine for <laughs> the long run? <laughs> really, really, really. I, 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 I honestly don't know. You understand? I was telling my wife mm -hmm. something. I said, um, one of the things I decided to do was to make sure that I'm good at what I do now. Because mm -hmm. um, in as much as I have a great passion for saving lives, I could do it somewhere mm -hmm. else, somehow mm -hmm. else, with something mm -hmm. else. So mm -hmm. um, I agree. <laughs> uh, so um, medicine, medicine is a it's a it has come to be a a um, a source of happiness to me. And even if I'm not actively in it, which I don't think I might be. Mm -hmm. But I still believe I will still be in the corridors of, of, of this. I still I will still be in the corridors of this. I might mm -hmm. I'm, I I I should own a facility mm -hmm. of my own. I should be able sure. to do that. It's mm -hmm. in, even if I'm not practicing, I should I should do that. I owe I owe myself that. I owe a lot of I owe God that. Mm -hmm. So at least I know that's what I'm doing. But practicing actively, I don't I don't think so. This is well, the final one. Um, yes, what will you say about, because most young people will be watching, how about exploring other gigs, um, especially for someone like Ukraine, um, and leveraging um, the fact that you will meet other people from foreign countries. Uh, also, the society where you are in as a foreign um, student, integrating into it. What advantages? I, I spoke about your, your different talent, other talents, okay? Um, do you think it's important to just um, develop them? Because in places like Ukraine, the medical space is not as rigorous as, as yeah. Nigeria, so we have more privilege. And then what is the importance of really relating with other cultures um, mm -hmm. around you? Maybe do you feel like you could have built better networking with people and then integrating into the society where you are, any part of the world? What are the importance of these three things? Uh, um... Personally, for me, I, 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 I groomed my um, singing ministry in Ukraine. And mm -hmm. um, I don't think I regret that decision, though, because the mm -hmm. platform I had in Ukraine, I don't think I've had mm -hmm. it in Nigeria. And um, mm -hmm. so that has really helped. So if you have a gift, you have a talent, and you have the time to work on it, please mm -hmm. do. A place like Nigeria is so big. It's so mm -hmm. unpredictable. You don't know what will cause it to shine tomorrow. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know. You know of this guy, Peruzzi? You know Peruzzi? I think he's a musician, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's a musician. He dropped out of, he. I think he he felt his, his talent. In, I think he dropped out of something, but he finished, but he didn't continue. I think he's a medical mm -hmm. student. I think he's a medical doctor too. I can't remember. I think so. Mm -hmm. So, so seed, I think he's a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know if he finished or he had 
I think I think it did. I'm not too sure. What I'm just trying to say mm-hmm. is this: whatever you have, Nigeria is a very big place, and uh, it's a place whereby one thing that really blows here is mm-hmm. talent. Mm-hmm. If if the right if 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 something or God takes you to the right spot where your talent is needed, that is just mm-hmm. your breakthrough. Many of you mm-hmm. know this mm-hmm. um, brother in Ukraine, um, Chris Clown. When Chris mm-hmm. Clown started, everybody you're looking at him like this guy don't even understand. But this is him here. Yeah, mm-hmm. He's a sensation now, you know. Yeah. So yeah. So that and is what I some speedy as well. Some speedy yeah. to him very well. Exactly. Yeah. So. See some speedy that was our guy. Our yeah. guy. You see my guy. I love you, Pam. So, <laughs> so, so that, that is it. That is it. You know, so it's um it's a great thing to develop your talent because you don't know where it will take you. As for mingling with other cultures, it's very important. Um, mm-hmm. I have I have connections with my Indian friends to date. Mm-hmm. I have connections mm-hmm. with my Sri Lankan friends, my Ghanaian friends. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and um, I don't think such connections would be of a waste in 10 years to come. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because now, one of the greatest assets any human can have is networking, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know what kind of business idea somebody will want and wants me to be his representative in Nigeria. All, mm-hmm. came, from, all came from a friendship that started in Ukraine. So mm-hmm. these things happen. You know, so never throw away the importance of networking and friendship with different cultures, mm-hmm. different backgrounds, because um, I don't think you regret it. I don't think so. Yeah. Nah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Important. All right. So um, I think we've covered a lot. If there's another question, I can always bring you back. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this is not approved in Nigeria. <laughs> So how are you managing with this hairstyle in the oh hospital? <laughs> so you have to wear your cap all the time. Oh, yes. After this meeting, I'm putting back my cap. You see, it's the thing mm-hmm. of morality, you know, in an Africa. That's, that, that's basically it. Patients will see this and be like, this guy is not fit to handle me. Even the beard is a problem. You it's know? a problem, Avi. Yeah, it's a problem. Yeah. People look at you with this beard and they say, is this guy, is this the doctor that's coming to see me? No, I don't want to see him. <laughs> <laughs> Before you oh. forget, he's also inside my stomach. <laughs> yeah, that's not the discussion for today, Sha. But anyway, those yeah, are the... that's what Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we should we should have a discussion on that, but I think that will not be medical uh, really inclined. No, I would love no. to see. No problem. In that kind of discussion, I don't want to break tables. I beg. I never get yeah, power. You, right. you break tables, <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you my ordeal when I came into the country at first, my medical school, they threatened to fail me because of my beards. In my MDCN exam, wow. yes. Wow. Yes, they said if I don't cut it, yeah, I shaved I think... everything. I don't even remember that my picture. I shaved everything. I was, I was. Yeah. Let's not talk about that. Everybody, piece. everybody, when they go back to Nigeria, you have to shave all those things. Yeah. Write the exam, pass in peace. Yeah. yeah move on. So like, yeah. Anyway. All right. So thank you so much for um for your time, and I hope this Sorry. was helpful to anyone. And um, to anyone who's their part um, is Nigeria, of course, um, at this point, we can begin to say, I've, I've only heard all the information. I pray that the Lord will help them, guide them. Because I believe as well that uh, with the right information, no matter where you are, one good thing about Nigeria is that we can force. We have a will. We have a fighting spirit. So uh, even if it's like you're not... Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, I agree for that kind of <laughs> no, <laughs> what you no. <laughs> no comments. All right, so can I put your social media handles so that if anybody has further questions, they can slide into your DM to ask you questions? All right, sure, no problem. Please, Please don't, slide don't slide into it. Don't slide into it. Don't slide from this um, video, yes, or else he's a married man, or he will not answer you. He will <laughs> no, not answer you. Please, yeah, please. Eh? Please. No, let Madame come for me. Oh, she has my number. I beg, oh, I beg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't know she has a number, so yeah, I'm yes, sir. So, what you say, hey, man of I God, beg. you <laughs> please, name, oh, please, I beg, I beg. And please, Nigerians, learn to introduce yourself. Many people just come to your DM and just say hi. Don't come and say hi. He doesn't know. I don't reply hi. I don't reply hi. Yes. I don't reply hi. I don't reply hello. I don't think that's the message. Sorry, I'm sounding rude. Yes. Hi, hello. No, no. It's, it, I, I think. 
hi and hello to someone who you don't know before. It's you no, no. are the one they actually read. I don't. So, I have. I have a lot of them. Hundreds of them. I don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. So you should come. Stay your name and your, your purpose community. for that communication. And exactly. Yes, and just go. Just even go straight and ask the question. Exactly. Put it as a oh Lord, because he's busy, so that he could just answer you exactly. and then move on. Exactly. By the way, guys, he's married to a very beautiful, beautiful wife. And <laughs> so that nobody, please don't call me and type. Don't no. like anybody here, please. <laughs> he's taking the you know, people of God. <laughs> yeah, and um, they have their very beautiful daughter. And the wife is a YouTuber as well. So I'll put the link below um, in the description box. Please, all the information about motherhood. And sometimes he's there too, uh, telling us about all the medical decisions and everything that we need to know. So a very interesting yeah. channel. I'm hooked up Thank to that channel. So guys, let's let's go on there. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so of course, now of course, of course. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Um, all right, sir. Staff of, I'm acting, um, for taking out time out of your busy schedule to be able to answer some of our questions. So um, okay. I'm hoping that uh, there'll be more questions as it goes and um, you will help us to answer them at the alignment. So thank you very much, um, everyone. Right. Please try, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you have listened to this for free, God is watching you. Subscribe to Noyo Edwardo, subscribe to Yes, so let's not fight the way you pronounce my name, Shafta, all this year, but I don't know. <laughs> Pronounce your name. I can't pronounce your name actually, but let's just always be like that. All right. Bye. So God bless bye, you, bye. everyone. Oh, yeah. Bye bye. Bye. bye.